Re-roofing comes with its own specific set of problems. Tear-off is extremely disruptive to building occupants. Ponding water is difficult to remove due to irregularities in the existing substrate. Some tapered roof insulations lose R value over time. Construction and maintenance traffic damage the roof. And while you're paying to have your original investment hauled off to the city dump, you have to worry about keeping the building watertight. When you think about it, re-roofing an occupied facility is a bigger headache than an original roof installation. Seaplast's NVS lightweight insulating concrete was developed to solve re-roofing problems economically. For over 20 years, it has been the obvious choice. With NVS, you can eliminate disruptive tear-off. NVS compensates for irregularities in the existing substrate. Its R value remains constant. NVS's high compressive strength reduces the potential for damage from construction traffic. And NVS works to prolong membrane life by reducing stress. NVS is a responsible environmental choice and a sound investment. It's the lowest life cycle cost insulation. Like Seaplast Zonal Light, NVS is a composite system that combines the unique properties of aggregate-based lightweight insulating concrete and Insulperm Premium Expanded Polystyrene Foam Insulation Board, creating a monolithic, nailable roofing substrate ideal for use over existing roof membranes. The practicalities of, of, of NVS are obvious. We, um, we can go into uh, an existing condition and the sensitivities of the people and the building environment aren't affected. We can reuse all the existing roof components, therefore allowing the owner to recycle all of his existing roof and save him money, save him demolition charges, and all the dust and noise and debris that goes along with the removal of an existing roof. NVS is used on all building types, from small offices to large warehouses to high-rise hotels in busy downtown areas and NVS is poured successfully in all climates. As far as pouring NVS concrete in Canada, the myth uh, that it can't be done when the weather is cold is false. We have a smaller window of opportunity where we can pour from April till November is ideal. Every NVS re-roofing project is unique. Depending on the condition of the existing roof system, NVS can eliminate the need for costly tear-off and simplify surface preparation. The proper course of action is always determined by the building owner's evaluation team as they study specific building needs and conditions. When an owner builds a building, roofing is generally the last thing on his mind. After one or even two failed roofs and the problem gets serious enough, he generally calls Seaplast. This building happens to be less than 20 years old and this is the third roof being applied. This facility's existing built-up roof had poor slope to drain. The resulting ponded water had degraded the roofing materials. After assessing the situation and conducting a structural review, it was determined that NVS could be poured directly over the built-up roof without affecting the integrity of the existing roof assembly. By pouring over the existing system, costs of complete tear-off and removal are saved, and additional insulation value is added as slope to drain is corrected. Work begins with moisture scans to determine what areas of the existing roof are wet and in need of repair. Wet insulation is replaced, and damaged areas of the roof and flashing are repaired. Loose gravel is removed. After the existing roof is completely sealed, a thin slurry coat of NVS is poured in place, correcting substrate irregularities and low spots. Insulperm insulation boards placed into the slurry in a stair-step configuration create a slope-to-drain contour that effectively removes water from the roof's surface. These very typical conditions cannot easily be corrected with tapered rigid board systems. If necessary, saddles or crickets can be economically built into the final configuration of the deck to assure prompt and complete drainage. A top fill of NVS is poured over the insole perm, filling the holes in the insole perm and effectively locking it into the system without the use of fasteners. 
Because of its high compressive and tensile strength, NVS requires only a one inch minimum thickness over the top of the insole perm. The pour is screeded to a smooth finished surface. When it is not possible to pour NVS directly over the existing assembly due to structural considerations or extreme roof failure, complete tear off of the membrane and insulation is necessary. We have removed the single ply, the insulation, and attached a DENS deck, then covered it with IREX. On top of that, we will pour our lightweight insulating concrete. Roofing over NVS may begin as soon as 48 hours after finishing the pour. During the normal curing time, the finished NVS surface is resistant to water damage and together with a repaired existing roof system will protect the building interior from rainfall. Roofing over lightweight is uh, different than roofing over rigid insulation, structural concrete or wood decks. The advantages of roofing over lightweight, once it's down, it's in place, it doesn't slide under your feet, it's very rigid and it creates positive slope to the drains. I like working with lightweight very much. The production is up. Uh, you can pour a lot of lightweight deck in a day. It gives you a large area of roof to work on. Production is much better than with uh, rigid roof insulation. A base sheet is mechanically attached to the finished lightweight deck with specially designed NVS fasteners. The fasteners have a two-piece stem that spreads when driven into the NVS concrete, producing an inverted wedge. This design offers withdrawal resistance of more than 40 pounds of force per fastener at the time of installation. Withdrawal resistance increases with age. The base sheet is followed by the application of Seaplast's Paradean 2030 SBS modified bitumen membrane system. Paradean 20, the base ply, can be applied with a torch, cold adhesive, or hot asphalt. In this case, it is being torch applied. The Paradean 20 is followed by Paradean 30, the granular surface top ply, which can also be applied with a torch in hot asphalt or in PA311 cold adhesive, as we see here. This lightweight, highly flexible membrane system is simple to apply and easy to maintain, and it has an enviable performance history in some of the harshest weather conditions imaginable. This performance is enhanced when the membrane is installed over lightweight insulating concrete for several basic reasons. First, NVS has more mass than rigid insulation board. This mass effect means that the membrane experiences slower temperature changes and more moderate temperature extremes, so there is a minimum of thermal stress on the roofing membrane. Second, because NVS produces a smooth, monolithic surface, free of the gaps or joints found with rigid insulation, mechanical stress on the roof membrane is reduced. And finally, NVS concrete helps to minimize membrane damage resulting from construction or maintenance traffic on the roofing membrane due to its compressive strength. The NVS lightweight insulating concrete roof insulation system works to reduce building owners' annualized cost and solve the difficult problems of re-roofing. By reducing stress to the roof membrane, providing positive slope to remove water, restoring stable thermal value, and remaining in re-roofable condition, NVS creates a low life cycle cost roof system that is environmentally responsible. Re-roofing is a complex problem, but the solution is simple. You can take re-roofing off your mind for a very long time with Seaplast's NVS.